Coach Chris here from Holiday Tennis. Uh, another low impact tr tennis training video coming at you. This time we're going over the ground strokes. So whether you're using your left hand or right hand, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. It's the best way to grow this channel. All right, let's go. So today uh, this is this is meant for you know for sure players of all level as it's a fundamental, but especially those who are just getting into tennis, just to kind of. Uh, get a handle on the beginning stages. So we're gonna start with a continental grip. So you uh, grab the racket like you're grabbing someone's handshake, hammer grip like that. So you're just, you're not grabbing it like you're doing a frying pan to the side like this. Continental, same grip with your right hand, same grip with your left hand. So you're, you're noticing I'm always coming back to this nice ready position. I'm right hand dominant. So my right hand's on the bottom, my left hand's on top. Both are in a continental. My left hand is a little bit higher than my right hand. So this is a nice ready position. I got my feet wide apart, I'm kind of sitting down like this. So this is the position I'm waiting for a ball in. It's, I'm, I'm easily able to react and, and give myself a strong base to, to hit off of. So if the ball is, if I want to imagine using my right hand, I'm going to bring my racket back and, and cr try to create a loop, okay? So you notice I'm creating a little bit of a loop. My racket's never stopping. I'm not going back and then forward, which is uh, a lot of the time what I see at club players at the club level. So what you want to do as much as you can is have a nice loop. Okay, you can do that on one side, you can do that on the other. One side, and then the other. So you notice when I'm making this loop, I'm, I'm starting small. I'm starting small and I'm pushing forward, so I'm extending, so it's a really, small backswing, as in it's not even crossing really the, the, the plane of my body. If I'm hitting over here, it's a small backswing over here. Small backswing. A lot, I see a lot too much like that, um, and it just kind of affects the timing a bit negatively. So again, holding this in a, you know, we're both holding in a continental grip, um, you know, relatively light, let's say like a four out of 10. Um, nice ready position here, and I'm kind of, this is a very easy, um, slow, low impact way of training, you know, your right and your left side. So for me as a, as a right-handed player on the right side, it's gonna give me the basis to a pretty nice modern forehand with topspin eventually. And if I have it as a left hand, this is my dominant hand if I'm having a two-handed backhand. If I choose to go down that route, um, I mean, if I choose to have a one-handed backhand, this exercise wouldn't technically help. So, but it's, it's good to kind of cover your bases. So I'm a predominantly, I do have a one-handed backhand, but throughout the last couple of months, I've been pretty, working pretty hard to, to make, make my left side a bit more, uh, a bit more equal to my right side. So my right side's extremely dominant, very loose, very easy up to open my hips. The left side's not, not there yet, so. As you're doing this, you can kind of start, you know, incorporating a little bit more every time, thinking about different parts of the body. You know, the hips are, are a big power source, feeling them open up. Um, keeping your head down at contact is a nice one. So throughout these kind of low impact exercises where there's no ball involved, you're at a complete state of calm and, and relaxedness, even though you're, you're still, you might be thinking a lot, you might be, you know, trying to go through things, which is which is good. You need to, to do that in order to grow. But I find it a lot easier and a lot um, less stressful to do this. And, you know, we're just in an environment here that's quite calm. We're by the river. Um, it's very relaxed. You know, we're not, I'm not at the tennis club where there's the pressure of other people seeing or, you know, the pressure of trying to perform for your partner. So if, if you need to, you know, work on your forehand, your backhand, your left hand, your right hand, ground strokes, this is a nice, easy way to do it. Off court, no stress, low impact. Try it out.